Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's been a while, but this video is all about the fact that Newcastle United's owners have announced that they're going to have talks with fans to see if Newcastle should rename the stadium St James's Park with the name of a sponsor. This is a controversial issue because obviously a few years ago Mike Ashley decided without any consultation whatsoever to rename St James's Park as the Sports Direct Arena. This was incredibly unpopular with Newcastle United fans. Obviously at that point the owner was not very well liked at all, that's to say, to say the least. He was obviously hated, despised and he did that without any consultation. It was a deeply unpopular move. But one of the arguments at that time was St James's Park should never be renamed anyway. So where do we stand now that we've got owners who most fans like in terms of the fact that they're investing in the club? And does it mean Newcastle fans are hypocr hypocritical if they now think that it's okay for St James's Park to be renamed if a sponsor's brought in to do so? The news is really that the owners are going to discuss with fans, get, gauge fan opinion essentially, on this issue. And I think that's completely the right thing to do. They, Since they've come in, they've gone about things the correct way. They've taken their time. They've consulted fans a lot, you know, a lot more than we were ever consulted, not only under um, Mike Ashley, but obviously previous owners like Freddie Shepard. They're making a real effort to go out of their way to have fan input into how the club is run. And that is can only be a good thing, in my opinion. Does it make Newcastle fans hypocritical, though, if they were so against the name change a few years ago to now say actually no, I'm alright with the fact that it won't be called St James's Park anymore. Some fans will argue that people will call it St James's Park regardless. That's probably true. Other fans will argue that we need to increase revenue if we want to compete and so this is a necessary evil in, sen in the sense of we have to do this to compete with, with other teams who have bigger budgets than us and where we want to be. And there is a, there's a, an absolute fact that Newcastle have to increase uh, commercial revenue streams. It's just, it's not even up for debate. That's, everyone knows that that's true. If we want to break into the top six or the big six, then we have to increase revenue pretty much any way we can. So for me, how do I feel about it? I'm really uncomfortable with St. James's Park having a name, to be honest with you. I don't like the idea of it. But I'm also realist, a realist to know that actually in the modern game, a lot, of, a lot of clubs do rename their stadiums. Now people will say, well, Man United and Liverpool haven't renamed their stadiums. And that is completely true, of course. However, they are already part of the established big six. They have, they're two of the biggest clubs in world football, regardless of whether they win trophies every season or not. It's a completely different story for them. Whereas for Newcastle, we're trying to break into a, a, you know, a top six that are a big six that we're not in. So we have to find a way of doing it. Now, for me, if the stadium name has to be a sponsor's name, I can probably live with it. I won't be that happy about it. I'll still call it St. James's Park. It'll always be St. James's Park to me. But if it's going to bring in you know, £30 million a season or whatever for 10 years, in a, I don't know, like... For me, that's like a player or something every single season. So you can see the attraction of doing it. But what I really want the club to do is is find sponsorship opportunities at lots of other levels as well. So obviously the shirt sponsor is going to get changed soon as well. We know that that's coming. But also things like, let's just sponsor everything. Let's sponsor, I don't know, like let's sponsor the, um, the tunnel. Let's sponsor the dugouts. Let's sponsor every single thing that you possibly can create a revenue stream for and increase re revenue for the club to invest in the team. The big argument, of course, the difference between Ashley and the new owners is the fact that when Ashley did it, he wasn't investing in the squad. He did it for free advertising for his business. He had no, he didn't, he, he almost, it was almost like the club paid him in a sense to do it. Whereas this, with this one, I think that the new owners will be able to sell the fact that they will be able to say, look, this money will be reinvested in the team. We are doing this the right way and we are going to invest the money back into the team. And that makes a bitter pill a lot easier to swallow. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Really interesting topic. Uh, it's good to be back making videos. I don't know how many of these I'll do, but 
yeah, just leave me a comment in the comments below and uh, we'll see what the opinion out there is. And I'll see you really soon for another video.